Greetings, my fellow cannibals, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech, the first Wendigo, episode 95, Petrine Cross. Well, we're going to have a lot of mech shredding to do. And Brizit, uh, no more care, Benny. So Brizit now has control link three, and, um... Correct me if I'm wrong, the control links, this implant can be installed six times to increase its effect. I don't think that's true. I think you have to go high links, right? So it's kind of a, a tooltip, um, misleading tooltip. Because if I take a look at the high links... Uh, this high tier implant can increase the control group count up to six. Well, all right, let me, uh, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna quick dev mode. To make sure, because I'm pretty sure that's the case. But uh, I just want to make, make absolutely sure. So spawn thing, control or... Yeah, I can't implant it. So it's like a tooltip failure. Uh, low control sublinks only go up to three. You need the high links to go up to six, even though the control sublinks say they could go up to six. So I was exactly right to be skeptical of that tooltip. So if uh, we want Bryzit's um, worker drones to be faster, I need to kill war queens and then to get the chips off the war queens, the power focus chips, and then turn them into implants. Um, we did vote that I make a Diabolus, so build a death rest room and just date a Diabolus. So unfortunately for you, Pobble, you are going to be destroyed. Actually, I could hand you over to Wendy. Having Wendy control a firebot? Well, okay. Um, question. Should Wendy keep a bot? Yes. Poe? Yes. Phantom? Or no? So she has uh, bandwidth for one more bot. So either Phantom Troop, who's a Militor, or Pobol, who's a... Uh, a Scorcher. She could technically control with her bandwidth. Um, if you guys think that's uh, something that I should do, leave you the option. Or no, and have her not bother controlling one of them. That all works. I have been doing a terrible job of getting a death rest room, so I am going to now that I'm not under attack, uh, micromanage Wendy and get this death rest room together. Because it's long overdue. Kirk's genes definitely haven't finished regrowing. Incorrect. So right now I'm just uh, moving the chunks out of the way so that I can build the floors. And the hauler bots will haul the chunks 
actually out of the way. And then put in as many jade walls as I can afford um, to make a really nice death rest room. Alright, you guys think, no, not keep any bots. Okay. Mass. Disconnect from Pobble. Oh, uh, actually, take control of Pobble. I meant to dismantle Pobble. Link, and then Phantom Troop. Uh, I need to rip scan someone, so let's load. And then I'll probably just pick a random impid to scan. And you can see how it's coming together, I think. Uh, other things I need. I need a cataract helmet made by T-Sang. And maybe... Locust armor made by T-Sang. So that both Midi and Frosty uh, have locust armor and cataract helmets. I've been neglecting Frosty. And given that Frosty is wielding a hell of a blade, that's a very foolish thing for me to do. Because th that blade is now biotuned. And uh, no one else can use it. Like Excalibur. It's blade linked. Gotta, oop, gotta get a little snack here. Ha, <laughs> I can't even drain the other vampire. Does make me realize that, uh, well, I guess you're being fed, Hemogen. Um, what... I probably need to start hemo farming again. So I'll cue that up too. Frosty was in trying to convert Kath. It's very slow. Do we have any births coming up? Three days, eight days. Not really, no. So luckily all the tribal attackers that I had, a lot of them brought in Jade that I can use for the death rest room. So I'm psyched about that. Um, Rip Scanner, are you ready? Yes. So we'll put in you, because I can't pronounce your name. There's also silver up here. There's uh, 2,000 silver sitting around here, so I probably should do something about that. Eight-year-old child is being chased by uh, Yakish. By, like, 150 Yakish. Um, 25, 50, yeah, like, so many of them. Um... They have four grenadiers, so they might be breachers. I don't really want to help a eight-year-old child. It's charity. It's not that I'm afraid of the raid. It's that it's a charity quest, and that is inherently distasteful. 
Sorry, kid. Why are the hall robots not moving this stuff? Or are they in just slow? So it looks like I'm out of jade. That's why I've been doing this piecemeal. I didn't know how much jade I had available to me. So there's 15 jade here, which I'll have cactus go hall. And then any other jade that's like littered around the map, I'm gonna to wanna to round up. It's a little here, 20. My plan is once the jade is all built, I will, um, I'll dye it. I'll dye it like a blood red. It'll be nice to finally get around to making a death rest room and one that's like glorious. A true chamber. Yeah, there's more jade up here too. There's 22 up here, 15 that Cactus just grabbed. So there might, there might be enough. I'm just trying to scan the map for more. We are heading out of Decemberary. So there's also gonna be an opportunity to call in trade caravans soon. Okay, you're dead. Neat. Gestate Diabolus. So the reason I can gestate a Diabolus is it needs two signal chips and a high core, and I have two signal chips and a high core, because I got the signal chips from the Diabolus that died. Two of the Diaboli I right here. They've just been sitting out in the open, you know. Very nice light. And then also all of the plasteel that uh, Cactus is mining up will uh, be able to be used for uh, the Diabolus as well. An Arctic Wolf gets to be slain. I'm not keeping pets if you're wondering. Just a personal decision. Jesus, how long have you been charging? Uh, Warhammer, what? Oh yeah, that's an old task. Uh, who made it though? <laughs> I don't even know. I bet like a robot. Whatever, it's a spare uranium Warhammer if we, uh, if we wanted it. Dang, the Diabolus is already gestating? Woo, that was fast. I just started that. Okay, Diabolus is coming. Uh, something else that we never got around to making this prisoner gene. All right, Brazit, I blame you. Uh, this wall is patched up enough that the uranium slug turrets will work again. So is there any jade left anywhere? I think we grabbed it all. 
So we'll see how far we get. I'm not going to be able to do the whole thing. So we're going to have a weird... It's going to be a little patchy. Just means I'm going to need to be raided by more tribals so they get more jade. I haven't had... I, I don't have any jade deposits yet, no. I don't know of any. Oh, no. So waste packs have been holding. I think I need even more, as crazy as that sounds. I've not been getting rid of waste. I think uh, the new gestations are expensive. Idiot Jack, growth moment. You are a night owl. That's fine. Too smart night owl. These new, uh, this new wave of babies are like, thumbs up. I have no, uh, real issues with them so far. Which is, which is, uh, unusual. Normally I'm, I'm saddled with morons. And that has not been the case, pleasantly. Hey, it's a Jad Raid. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How is it going today? You've just, uh... Come in at a... <laughs> yeah, at a, a pretty good uh, pretty good time. I'm uh, making a, a new death rest room. We have just defended against... Um, quite a lot of raids, actually. We, we had about 250 impids come in, and they fought a mech cluster that was here, and then three Diabolises wandered in and went, Oh... Let's uh, see how soft their defenses are. And unfortunately for them, they they got obliterated. Welcome. Colony looks fantastic. Thank you. It's a, it's a colony where I am... I guess I'll give you the TLDR. Um, so this is a big screen here. The TLDR is that the colony is run by a mad scientist who is trying to take specific genes from the six species, Dirt Mole, Edekin, Pigskin, Neanderthal, Impid, and Waster and uh, trying to create a hybrid monster, a cannibalistic slayer. Um, the sort of lore of the story is that um, the scientists saw hussars as sort of inferior because hussars rely upon xenogerm implantation and it's very easy to overwrite xenogerms, right? All you have to do is like create a new xenogerm and, and implant it and then all of a sudden your hussar is worthless, not a hussar anymore. Um, so our mad scientist wanted to make a better super soldier. And um, that is where Wendy's crazy genetic project comes in. So it is a very unethical colony that we have here. But uh, for the unbelievable crazy amount of hours I have in Rimworld, World, I will say I've never, ever, ever had a... a uh, a colonist quite as strong as my leader in this colony, as she is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. She is a level six psychaster. She's a max mechanator. She's uh she's bionic like crazy. Um She moves it like I mean, right now she's in sunlight. She's also a vampire. Got crazy skills. She was random too. She moves at like nine speed, and I'm pretty sure I can increase that. I haven't bothered to go look for architect legs. And yeah, my larder is full. I've got uh I don't even I don't even know how many corpses are on this map tile. As you can see, I I get around to killing. There's probably like at least five hundred human like corpses around, I think. I actually um, calculated in, with all the DLCs of RimWorld, uh, what is the max speed of a pawn? I calculated that a few weeks ago. Anyone want to take a guess? Uh, any of you raiders want to take a guess what that number is? Because I, I was doing the calculations on, on my Discord server. Um, totally 100% vanilla. How fast, how fast can someone move? 
I think you guys are going to be surprised. I think. Can, vanilla with the DLCs. No mods. How fast can you move? Maximum speed. This is like the price of right. I'm curious. Yeah, every every possible buff, every possible speed advantage imaginable, how fast do you think you can move? It I after doing the calculations myself, I myself was pretty floored as to the number. I'll put it that way. You want to know the answer? The answer is 58.53. Mind blowing, right? 58 cells a second. Yeah. Um, let me run it down. Architect Legs, Bionic Heart, Luciferium, Go Juice, Wake Up, Psychic Speed Weapon, Go Frenzy, Psycasted with Focus, Pollution Stimulus, Jogger, Very Fast Runner Gene, Naked Speed, Neural Supercharge, Fibrous Mega Knights, Yayo High, and Detox Lungs. Yeah, you, you can break this. I calculated that, like, if we count a cell as roughly, um, like, let's say a meter, that's running at, like, 220 miles an hour. It's stupid fast. A lot of that is not realistic, realistically viable because of the naked speed and pollution stimulus. You'd have to be like naked with a psi, uh, blade link weapon with psychic speed on a polluted tile. But it's like, and, and high on a whole lot of drugs. You'd have to be high on yayo, go juice, and uh, wake up. But even without out the highs on yayo, go juice, and wake up, uh, which is obviously temporary boosts and psychic focus, you're still moving at like 30 something. Um, point is, it's, it's just unbelievably fast. Um, so one day, one day I'll have a pawn that, that, that hits the speed limit. Someday. <laughs> Overdose goes bare? You know, if you're, but you could have the genes to make you, um, impervious to wake up and go juice. And yayo, right? You could you could genetically engineer yourself never to have overdoses or addictions to that stuff. That's why it's like, yeah, still pretty viable. Uh, so in this colony, I um, I basically extract eggs from prisoners uh, of different species, and then store the eggs in here. Um, Germ uh, you know, germinate them, and then figure out if I like them or not, and then I vat grow them. So I have uh, a bunch of vat grown experiments <laughs> in my <laughs> in my prison, um, which are all genetic hybrids trying to create a perfect species. Uh, it's very difficult, and a lot has been left up to luck, which is uh, which is which is brutal. But it is a lot of fun. So right now my, my goal is to work on a death restroom. Because Wendy, the leader, is like a complete and utter sociopath. But um, doesn't really even have a workshop. Doesn't have a death restroom. Doesn't have recreation or dining room. Is just all about business. Down to business. If it's, if it's not making better hybrids, she really doesn't care. So finally, she's giving herself something nice, which is a proper death restroom. Which is what's getting now. And yeah, all the, all of the genes here, here, I'll have a little overlay. On the top left is the ones we must have in our uh, hybrid species. So fast wound healing, dark vision, fur skin, um, strong stomach, robust digestion, that stuff. And then on the top right is the stuff that we can't have. Oh, one other caveat is um, every single colonist in our species must have at least one gene from the must have and must have no genes from the must not have, which means any colonist in this colony needs to actually be vat grown. Um, because no, there are no, there's no species in the world that has a good gene and not a bad gene. And the rules, as the rules state, is the colonists need at least one good gene, no bad genes. And then um, slaves need no bad genes. Which means that the six uh, random species in the world can't be colonists or uh, slaves. Baseliners are still allowed to be slaves because they don't have any of the bad genes. And then... So all of the other colonists other than the leader are these genetic hybrids. Like, so Mass here is 
a hybrid, I think, Neanderthal something. Hi, uh, Neanderthal baseliner. Bryzit is a Neanderthal baseliner. Midi is a Neanderthal baseliner. Frosty is uh, also a Neanderthal baseliner. I've had a lot of luck uh, extracting the Neanderthal uh, genome. Uh, Guero is a Dirtmull baseliner cross. Uh, Chimic is a Dirtmull baseliner cross. Low is a um, pigskin baseliner cross. Ragi is a... I don't even know what Ragi is. Uh, obviously some dirt mole. But uh, I'm not sure where the... Uh, cold tolerant would be Neanderthal, right? So I guess Ragi is a um, dirt mole Neanderthal something cross. 88 Jack is uh, Neanderthal something or another. They're all... Everybody's a hybrid. And we're just trying to, you know, much much the way that, like, you'll breed pedigree dogs, I'm trying to breed a pedigree being. It's a sick, twisted goal, but uh, that's the whole, the whole point. And the music you're hearing is uh, from a custom soundtrack. Oh, that's not the link. There. It's a, it's a soundtrack of... DMCA free music that I put together for this series of dark and haunted sounding music you know like you do I probably want to I mean no actually Wendy doesn't need a light in here on, se on second thought she's got dark vision as a vampire doesn't need to be illuminated So you're here at a weird moment where I'm just building, which is rare because most of the time Wendy's like torture murdering people and not just like building, but uh, you know, timing and all. Broader hands. Yeah, got a second copy of that then. Do I have room? I do. I have two two room. Husk. Time for you to hop in. All my prisoners, if you're wondering, have implanted dead calm in them. In fact, I've implanted a lot of garbage into them, as you can see. <laughs> so my prisoners are super immune, so I don't really have to tend to them. Slow runners. Cold tolerance so they don't freeze on my map tile, because right now it's a negative 40. Weak melee damage, dead calm, kind, extra pain, nearsighted, tried her hands, and awful at everything. So that they never, ever, ever pose a threat to anyone. I've genetically engineered them to be, like, organ donors? Oh, speaking of which, uh, stickiest. How would you feel about losing a kidney and a lung? And wicked, uh, a kidney and a lung. And Cowakirk. I totally forgot the new people have their organs, and well, they're mine now. Dude! What? The pilgrims just gave me Neuroquake? Yeah. <laughs> I started the stream going, oh, I wish Wendy had Neuroquake. I mean, not that I want her to be in a coma, but... Oh, what? Come on now. Fangface. Hey, Fangface, your butcher is now uh, one. I guess you at least you stabbed the right part of his body. You were trying to take a lung and you stabbed his torso. So technically correct. I love when pilgrims and uh, well, not in this. I was good. I was going to say when refugees as well, but I never get refugees because um, because I eat them. Just remove their legs to keep them in bed. So the problem with just removing their legs to keep them in bed is then they can't feed themselves. So then you're stuck having to manually feed them, which is a lot of manual labor when you have a prison population in the double digits. Uh, so I do have one person who I've removed their legs, 
because she's a vampire, and uh, I can't implant genes and keep her to be a vampire. Um, but I don't remove the legs of my prisoners because otherwise I'm feeding them manually, which sucks big time. Oh, two DP infestation. Cute. Cactus, uh, I want you to, oops, uninstall that. No, 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 don't do that. Just open it up. Uninstall the, um... Uninstall the unstable power, though. And then run. I don't want that blown up. Why are there pilgrims for Wendy's ideology? I mean, you know, she's a pretty legendary scientist. Maybe a twisted one, but, like... She's still legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, all of Wendy's children, except for Mass and Brizet, who are mechanators, and I've invested a lot of them, are kind of expendable by design. Which makes combat real easy, because I have a bunch of, like, vat-grown super soldiers that serve no purpose other than to be killed for the defense of the colony. I mean, I don't want them to get hurt needlessly, but they're also really good brawlers. Your genetic engineer to kill very, very well. And infestation's gone. Back to work, Cactus. Nobody's paying you to take breaks. Wendy, you need to kill prisoner. Your like mood is lower than I'd like it to be. No, you're okay. One thing I think I need to do right now is send a gift bag to Inalore. Uh, I'm about to lose my reputation with them, and I don't want to do that. So, Inalore. I don't know what eggs uh, I'm keeping and what I'm not, so I'm just loading them all up, and then what we can't load all. It doesn't matter. Alright, Inalore. You get my trash. I hope you wanted trash. Wendy is not a, a generous human being, as you might have been able to tell. But she'll part with the corsets, the human leather corsets. Free range corsets, might I add. Here we go. That's a gift bag. Ooh, our slug turrets are getting built. So this death rest room is the ultimate goal, and I'm ooh, there we go. Locus armor for frosty. Done. Much better. So I'm just gonna have uh, Wendy focus on this. Dog treats. Sure thing. Hey, buddy. It occurs to me that I need someone to do art. So, Frosty, how about you paint the death restroom for me?
Yeah, okay. My my um my waste packs are definitely in the positive. It's going in the wrong direction. I think I started off with like 139 and now I'm at 207. Wrong direction. There is some genetics in the waster gene that I want. Oh, I haven't... Oh, right, you're legless. That's right. So I have two prisoners that are legless. Not just the one. It might be worth... Oh, that's awkward. The the people that I was trying to gift bag to just showed up. I think it's um, probably a bit too annoying to cancel the load and then to gift them instead. Especially given that it's negative 33, they're probably just going to leave. What I was going to say is it might be of my benefit to, um, uh, to have Wendy offered lavish meals at this point. Like, I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a another shelf here for lavish meals only and for only her to be offered cannibalistic lavish meals uh, because now that she is a psychic harmonizer, it's going to be important for her to her mood to stay up. But I'm just going to have her crank out some some teas because apparently mechs can't brew tea. It's very annoying. Good enough. Yeah, okay. The Inalore guests are immediately leaving because it's way too cold. Who would have guessed? Isn't that the second time he's been catatonic? <laughs> or she. Jeez. Some of these impets have their organs too. I guess I've been slacking on the organ harvest. We're going to have a lot of money to be able to offer up um, uh, someone. I let my harmonizer stay awake? Yeah, because if she gets upset, she she just murders someone, and then she's happy again. She's generally speaking the happiest person in the colony by far, because she's so monstrous, and she has bloodlust, so it's very easy to keep her happy. Because I have uh, a prison full of, well, people to murder. Uh, so the other thing I want to do is cannibalistic meals is I'm going to change. They're not going to be allowed uh, lavish. Cannibalistic five meals and the new restriction. Um, cannibal lavish meals. And Wendy will be assigned that because I just caught others eating it. And then the lavish meals will be put here. Done. Actually, I could, uh, I could go if I wanted to full, um, cannibal carnivore meals, but I, you think I disallowed fine meals? Yeah, that sounds like me. No, fine meals is fine. Lavish meals is, yeah, no, I think it's, it's fine. A freeholder to the Galorda Empire is making a request. A mech swarm attacking her settlements wants me to deal with a mech cluster. This mech cluster will have five centipedes, five lancers, five militors, four pikemen, four scorchers, four scythers, a psychic suppressor. Okay, that's really annoying. Seven unstable power cells. So that's a lot of unstable power cells. Uh, maybe easy to mortar. There will be a low shield, no high shield, 
drop beacons, five assemblers, four capsules, and uh, ten turrets. And here are the rewards. Uh, do we accept? So my only concern is the psychic suppressor. Uh, but there's no mortars in here and there's no high shields, so it's very uh, mortar vulnerable. Do we accept the mech cluster? Yes or no? What do you guys think? And the death thrust room is almost done. Frosty is uh, getting it colored correctly. Uh, these temperatures should be down to negative 17 is fine. That looks good. Maybe in the middle. And Shimmick is growing old, up. Lazy? Well, I guess it's fine if you're, uh... Let me check your genome. Yeah, lazy is annoying because you're not a combat person. Or... Slave, possibly. Keeping my eye on you. I'm not sure... I think it's what, 12 cells or 22? I forget the range that these, that the, um, the death rest facilities have. So I might need to rearrange where it is, but at least we're getting it. And then I'll need to hook up power in there as well, because I don't think I powered the walls yet. Nope, definitely didn't. But it's already a very impressive room, and with all that uh, death rest stuff in it, it's going to go up in value even further. All right, in a lore. 39. That'll work for me. Gives me another season of uh, relationship decay. And it looks like you guys want the mech cluster. So, question. Uh, what reward? Honor. Uh, we have Phoenix armor and gold. Assault rifle. SMG. Harpsichord. And uranium. So it's up to you. What do you guys think I should go for? Oh, it's a healthy bat, bat birth. Uh, so this will probably be the last giveaway of the stream. Good luck. Active subscribers in the chat have a chance to win this baby. That sounds demonic, but I guess it is. Uh, we need to make another baby genome. Wendy, could you cook that up real quick? Actually, prize it, you do it. Wendy, I want... Uh, I'm, my stream time is almost over, and I want this built, if at all possible. How many organs are in there? Oh my god. Oh, you stole organs too. Yeah, I have been sleeping on these organs, huh? 
Fangface, you've been busy and you haven't butchered very many people, so like, congratulations, that's pretty awesome. It looks like the Assault Rifle SMG Harpsichord and Uranium combo is going to be the winning uh, the winning combination here. We extracted super immunity. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's a copy, but still not bad. Alright, baby. Is this the BB genome? No, that's Perfect Prisoner. Um, rise it. You went to sleep. False. Get back to work. So, I would say two and a half more minutes to vote on this, and it's probably going to be a quest I accept for the start of next stream. Because I am nearly out of time. But we'll have a very impressive death rest chamber. Rise it. Keeps going to sleep. So, baby, just hang out there. I know you're like starving or whatever. But Wendy does not want to touch you. Sorry, friend. Well, that's weird. There's just, it looks like waste packs are on the shelf, even though it's not something that's allowed on a shelf. I think it was just dropped there somehow. So for those that are wondering, if you implant uh, babies with passions, they learn more. So I have a special genome that I implant babies with to help them learn more while they're vat growing, because vat grown babies are terrible. Mitty, can you um, feed the baby? It's like starving. I don't know if it's yours, but it's yours now. I kind of wish that the uh, genome assembler would f do until finished. The constant having to remind them to work on it is yeah, kind of annoying. Like if only there was Adderall, right? Whatever you you think your needs are, I don't care. Keep working. <laughs> the eternal fight. All right, let's take a look at this chamber. So is that all the facilities? Yeah, it's all the facilities. It's not the hemogen. So the hemogen storage should probably be stored in here. Um, I really didn't design this in such a way that makes it easy. Because things are in the way. Yeah, maybe I'll have it like that. And here we go. We have the, uh, you guys have finally voted. So I will be accepting this for the weapons. And here is the giveaway for the baby. It's another low. I'm going to reroll that because you already have someone. Udugal. Congratulations, Udugal. This little baby is yours. Crying and starving, but yours nonetheless. So name the baby Udigal. And the last thing I want to do is to, because I'll, I'll forget, is to finish off that uh, baby Xenogerm and plant Udigal and then stick Udigal back in the vat, because we require our babies to be in vats. But yeah, it's a nice chamber. It's uh, it's nicer than the workshop that uh, we used to use. Uh, then with the with things moving, I'll be able to um, move some of the workbenches that were in the way out of the way, which is nice.
Not bot. Makes it look rigged. I know, that's your third in a row. Your current one is, um... Looks pretty good, though. Your current... person who's a beautiful psychopath. There's hope for you yet. To not end up useless, like so many of the others. I'm almost out of research unless we get molecular analysis. There we go. Baby Xenogerm, order implantation into Udigal. I don't know why the, uh, the holler bots keep, like, entering the death rest chamber. They have no reason to be in there, but whatever. Okay, Udigol's back to being grown. Are we... Yeah, I think we're all set. Just gonna make one more armchair and call it good. Do you guys, uh, do you guys like this? It's this entire um, facility, except for this one corner is under overhead mountain. So when she's asleep, she can't be touched. Um, there's coolers in it so that it won't spawn bugs. And, uh, and soon I'll, I'll, okay, I definitely have enough Hemogen, so let's go with no more Hemogen harvest. Um, but soon we'll have the Hemogen shelf, uh, hold over there. So we'll have blood stored. Oh, right, I, I did, I did force them there, didn't I? Alright, fixed. That's why they were wandering in there. Causing all that. All that um, trash to be put everywhere. But yeah, I like it. I like the chamber a lot. Looks very, very creepy. And I think the upside down cross is a nice touch, a nice demonic touch that that Wendy Wendy appreciates. Uh, I think maybe I'll put the other cooler here, and then it will be a little bit more symmetrical though. But I'm gonna wait until I have a little bit more jade. So that, my friends, is I think wraps up this stream. Thank you for tuning in to the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch, February 5th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. I hope to catch you in the next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios, my fellow Wendigos.